Well, I always wanted to come back to Italy because my heart is in Italy and so that was uh, for me the first motivation and uh, of course I knew about the Istituto Italiano di Tecnologia and uh, so when I first visited and I saw all the facilities and uh, I just spoke to colleagues around and I saw the passion and the, the energy of this institute that kind of convinced me that I really wanted to come back and uh, so since uh, September last year, so September 2014, I started to set up a new division which is called the Nanocarbon Materials and uh, I hired five very young talented researchers to join me in this uh, a new adventure and uh, we set up, uh, I, I set up a new lab, completely new, um, in the basement. Uh, so we work with carbon nanotube, fullerenes, carbon nano onions and graphene. Uh, we have access to all the facilities which are amazing, so we can do spectroscopy, microscopy. So uh, it's been almost 11 months now and uh, I can say the lab is up and running and the group is quite a nice group and I'm really enjoying it so far. Carbon nanomaterial has many properties. They are uh, like uh, electric conductivity or uh, optical properties and mechanical properties. From the combination of this material with molecule using a chemical approach, we expect to have an enhancement of those properties. This is very important for application, for example, for using this material in uh, in, uh, for therapeutics, for uh, drug delivery. Also, those materials are also biocompatible, which is a very important point. And from the combination of the two, uh, the chemical approach and the material approach with the biology, we expect to have some uh, interesting properties, for example, in the cell. And we, uh, since the cell it's a very dynamic environment. We are developing adaptable material that actually can adapt to the different uh, uh, environment present in the cell. One of those is, for example, using molecule that can change conformation once they attach on the carbon nanomaterial. And in this way, you can control the properties of the carbon nanomaterial. And the properties that can adapt to the, uh, to the cell environment. So this will help to, to study the, the function of the cell, to, for example, to target different diseases by having some uh, particular molecule on the surface of the material, and finally find a better way to, to, to treat several diseases. I did my bachelor degree in pharmaceutical biotechnologies in the University of Milan. Uh, when I come here, I just go straight to the lab of my morning coffee and uh, see if the reaction that I uh, started the last uh, the day before worked. Try to organize my day and if I can maybe set up another another reaction and do uh, maybe another workup. Here in IIT, I my main job is to synthesize uh, uh, fluorescent dyes that uh, would be attached to carbon nanomaterials from my other colleagues. I think the, some very useful skills are patience, perseverance and uh, fantasy. Best part is when uh, you put the vial with your product on the balance and you see a lot of stuff and you have, a, you have your clean product with a high yield. I think that the IIT is uh, the most uh, uh, beautiful place uh, to do research. Uh, I'm very happy to have a job uh, here. And I met Silvia uh, because I saw her uh, interview uh, on TV. And uh, uh, I hope that uh, here I, I can uh, uh, work well uh, with other people. I'm happy. I have never considered the option not to study uh, either science or technology. I uh, use like a lot this uh, microscope, um, which is an AFM microscope. Uh, one big challenge is when, for example, you think that something should work and then you expect an experiment going some way and then it turns out that something w went wrong. So, uh, you should not let, let it get you down until you uh, finally reach, like let's say, a good result. Yeah. The other thing I really enjoy is the, the, the opportunity I have to, to learn from nature and also 
from my colleagues. I began my career in the University in the University of Milan and after that I'm here in uh, Silvia's laboratory. So I like uh, my colleague from Bergamo because of his weird accent and uh, the engineer because he's so engineer, Michele Becce, Jorgen because he's so practical and also funny. So I like a lot of my research group, it's fun to work with them. The main challenge of my job are the continuous delusion because uh, reactions are not like in the textbook but always they don't work and, but when they work is the happiest thing ever. But the most enjoyable part of my job is uh, the freedom you have uh, when you are doing research. So if something comes up into your mind, you discuss with your boss if uh, she thinks actually that can be a good idea, you are free to work on that. I studied chemistry at the university in Erlangen-Nürnberg in Germany. After my diploma thesis in physical chemistry, I stayed there, worked on the functionalization of carbon nanotubes for solar cells application. So I like to develop things, get things done for the day, set up new reactions overnight and then go home. The main challenge is to develop new things. In chemistry, I think the most important skills is creativity and a very broad knowledge in chemistry and then combine what is known with new ideas to get things done and develop new things. Yeah, the most enjoyable part is probably when things have worked out you can finally write up the paper and then get the publication accepted. It's the final validation and also makes the work valuable and recognized in the world of science. It's good to work with my Italian colleagues. They all are 100% scientists, have good ideas. They're all nice guys. Silvia is a great boss. So it's good to work here. Sometimes they also teach me to take things a bit easier, not to be too narrow down on one single point. So I think this works out pretty good in our group. I think after 13 years abroad, coming back to your own country and being able to set up your own research lab, your research group is just a dream come true. So I'm very happy.